All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. Got another video for you today with the John Deere 1025R. As you've probably seen for quite some time on the channel, we hit the ROPS lights way back when, and we just have never uh, replaced them. Um, a lot of folks that have these lights that are sticking out know that when you're driving through the woods or whatever, these things are so easy to be hit and knocked off. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to replace the ROP lights here on the right side. Um, and we're going to show you that process. Number one, how to do it, how to get it all set up. And we're going to discard this old one. So, hey, stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy. And let's get right into this. So I just had it kind of bungeed up right here because it kept falling off. But here's the actual part. Uh, this side here is going to be the right side, obviously. Um, so it's a rear uh, tail light for the John Deere 1025R. It also fits the 2025R, 2032R, 3025. I don't know what a D is. Never heard of a D, but 3025D, 3025E. We've heard of the E and the R models, but I don't know what the D is. And then this says LVA. 18272 which i'm assuming that's the part number so i'll put a link in the description below um, for this light assembly and give you guys easy access to get it they have the right and the left assembly there so we're going to throw this in here take this one off and we'll go ahead and replace it so we're going to put this one here let's throw this seat up real fast and we'll set this down here so it don't get hit but let's go ahead and start taking this one off here. What you're going to need is you're going to need a 9 16 And you're going to take these two bolts off. First thing I'm going to do is take this old bungee off. That bungee's kept that on there for quite some time. So cheap but effective, right? So let's unscrew this. And this wiring actually runs down through the ROPS and comes out the bottom and then plugs in. So we'll show you that once we get to that point. So what you're gonna wanna do, see this is uh, what I thought we were gonna have to happen. This piece actually broke and that's what happened. It got hit and you can see these little pieces here. Let me bring you in closer. But this piece right here, kind of came out of this part right here is what it screws into um, that's what broke and we're probably gonna have to take some of this there we go they kind of stuffed it back up in the uh, rops a little bit we're gonna take some snips they got it zip tied up nice and real nice in here right now but we'll uh, make it good again once we get it we have some more zip ties and let's see here we have to unzip tie that try not to get in your way get this harness up out of here there we go all right, so here we go. So you can see your four connections right there. And they are all color coordinated the same. So we're gonna unsnap them, all of them, and we're just gonna lay them right there. And we'll work on getting this harness up through here. You're gonna wanna bring some type of extra wire up through. That way you can pull it back down and i'm going to use i had this uh weed eater string laying around i should have grabbed a uh i should have grabbed some electrical tape but i didn't i just grabbed some duct tape but what we're going to do is we're going to tape this around here that way we can pull this up through and Make sure we have a, another cord that we can pull our new wires down through. So let's pull this up through here. It 
This should come right through now, nice and easy. There's our harness. Keep coming. And there's our string. So I just took that little cover there off this old wiring harness. And we're going to go ahead and put it on the new one here. All right, so I'm not sure why that took me so long. But let me take a couple zip ties here so this doesn't come out. It took me, you guys might be faster than I was, but it took me a good three or four minutes to get these this wire back in this this little sheathing thing here. So I'm just going to zip tie it probably three up through here just to make sure it doesn't come out um, I don't I don't want these wires coming out anytime or potentially coming out they probably won't but it's always better to err on the side of caution see that one right there is already coming out a little bit so it's good if you have a, just a couple zip ties they're cheap and they do wonders so we'll throw these on and then we're gonna hook up to our little string here we put through the rops and then we will go ahead and pull it through that should be good just enough and we're going to go ahead and throw this pull this right back through here and we'll get it out the bottom feed it right in that hole Once we're in here, it should slide right down. Oh yeah, there it goes. Just help feed it. And it looks like we're pulling through now. Yep, all the way through. Had a little dirt up in there, it looked like. All right, so I'm gonna pull these all the way through. Where's my string? There it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this to where it's not flopping down through I'm gonna put this in and make sure you get this the right way because th there's a black spot part and a red on the bottom the red's gonna go back for your brake lights and the black's gonna go on the driver's side so we're gonna get these bolts started just like this hand start okay so it's sitting there we're gonna make sure all these wires are tucked in there real nice Pull things down through, hook them up, and we'll tighten everything up. I'm going to try to get you a better view here. I'm so sorry for the wind if it's picking up all that wind noise. But brought this down through the ROPS. Let me get my hand out of here real quick. So we have all these wires, right, that are color coordinated. So we're going to take our... see if I can get my hand out of your guys' way. There. All right, so we got orange. We'll go orange to orange. Plug it in. We'll go green to green. See, green to green, orange to orange. We're going to have black to this black. We'll go in like that. That one was a little tough. And then we got this, what is this, gray? Yeah, gray. We'll go gray to gray, put them all together. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and test this out before we actually um, pin everything up. Just because the last thing you want to do is it not work. All right, so here we go. Moment of truth. Turn the key on. We'll turn this on. Look at there. Side to side. Turn signal should work. Yeah, see? Solid. Go the other way. Turn signal, that one's solid. Heck yeah, that's what we're talking about. All right, one other thing you guys can see is the brake lights working there. See there? Turn the key on, key off. Just had the parking brake on so you can see that. So everything's working on this side. We'll show the hazards one more time. Look at that. Perfect. 
All right, so bringing you in close here. That's what it looks like now that it's all buttoned up. Show you down in here. We got it all zip tied up real nice. Focus. Got everything zip tied up. Goes right back up in. These are extra ports if you want to hook up something else. Um, let's say you wanted uh, some lights or something like that. Auxiliary lights, you can hook them up there. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. We got this uh, rear light for the ROPS installed on the John Deere 1025R. It actually went pretty smooth. Didn't take too long, maybe about a half hour in total. Um, just had to run it down through the ROPS, zip tie it back up. Color coordinated for the uh, hookups there. Tested everything out, works perfect. So this is gonna make it much better uh, and doesn't look all junky, I guess you could say, where you hit this. Now, you need to be a little bit more careful when you're driving through the woods and stuff so you don't pop these things off anymore. Hey, I appreciate you guys coming back to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors, we'll see ya.